Thanks, uh, Mr. Kapoor. So I work with Yes Bank and I, I head the clean tech, uh, private equity and m and division of Yes Bank. And, uh, you know, participating and hearing the views of the panels and the members is very exciting for me because energy efficiency is a very critical component in the entire value chain of uh, clean tech investments. You know, having distinguished people here, you know, talking about this gives me and, you know, the entire investment banking fraternity a kind of a reassurance that, you know, there is enough uh, discussion, there is enough uh, thought process which is going on within the energy efficiency paradigm. And this is going to help to kind of, you know, bring about new investment, new technologies which the financiers and the investor, investors would be comfortable uh, working with. You know, as Mr. Anj uh, Arjun uh, Watkar, you know, mentioned about in the discussion which kind of, which you know, works yet. around with the industry, with the sector, with the specialist, and try and bring about certain technologies which they kind of actually vet and say that, you, yes, these are the technologies which we believe through our experience have worked. We've worked on the problems on these technologies which our partners as members have faced, and we've worked on these technologies to bring about a solution which is not only technologically feasible, but also in the long term, keeping in mind the practical problems which the industry is going to face can actually help to generate the, the necessary cash flows to service the financing for this. I think from my point of view, that's what you know, is, is, of, is of most critical importance. I'll give you an example of you know, how Yes Bank worked with technology and you know, try to bring about a change in how financing has looked in case of renewable energy. So, you know, I'm very happy to say that Yes Bank was amongst the few first lenders who worked on renewable energy, especially the wind, to bring about a change in terms of how financing can happen. So at a point of time when we started looking at renewable investments, we worked with the technology providers, we worked with the promoters, we worked with, you know, different institutions globally, tried to understand their experience and started, you know, with a noble concept of saying that, okay, let's finance a technology which is wind. We understand the technology. We are willing to take the risks which are involved with it. And we took the first plunge of doing it. We did our own experience. We had our own challenges. But over a period of time, along with the industry, along with the partners, we've been able to come across a situation where today financing for wind has become a common phenomena. You know, there are two factors when you're looking at technology financing. One is the technology in itself, and what are the, you know, operation maintenance costs, and how would this technology change impact what we are working on today? So I think, you know, if we can take care of technology, if the industry can come together, if the members of, uh, you know, medium and small scale enterprises can come together, if there could be a nodal institution which can be created, maybe, you know, someone like Terry or Bureau of Energy Efficiency can come together. We have the experience of, you know, GIZ, AFT, you know, to come across and bring technologies from Europe, which they have seen actually working, and try and adapt to the Indian conditions. I think the way the financiers and the investors are going to look at financing these technologies is going to be completely different. You know, today sometimes we believe that, you know, it's a cash-22 situation. Whether, you know, if I, you know, go ahead with a technology or, you know, energy efficiency program, whether it will get financed or not. So it's always a dilemma. But I think this dilemma can be addressed. It can be addressed that if we have a kind of a common platform which gives the financiers the comfort, and I'm sure that, you know, you would see a lot more, you know, participation from the investors and the financiers in, you know, funding these technologies. Thank you.